I just read this story. I genuinely feel sorry for a lot of people because they have pretty much no choice. America's largest pension fund has sold and bought electric vehicle stocks in China. And frankly, I mean, people have no say over what happens to their pension funds and to how much their pensions are worth. When you have people managing your pension funds and doing stupid things like this, well, you can see how people feel powerless. They feel like somebody is controlling my money and my pile of money is getting smaller. This sucks. And I genuinely think it does suck. I agree. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Hope you've had an amazing week and I hope your pension funds haven't gone down too much. I know my parents have and a lot of people's pension funds have decreased a lot this year thanks to massive decrease in the value of a lot of stocks. Now, fortunately for me, because a lot of my stocks, well, most of them, except one, are US-based companies now because the Australian dollar has lost a lot of value compared to the US dollar. So it's actually not been too bad. But it's true. We've had a rocky ride. I mean, Tesla stock price, what's it done? Yeah, it's way down on where it was. That said, that's why I think now is a good opportunity to buy. Neo, Xpeng, Li Auto. Well, America's biggest pension fund, the absolute biggest in the United States has done some really what I think are bizarre things recently. It's bet big on Neo and Li Auto. Li Auto doesn't even make EVs. They make hybrids and it's liquidated its position in Xpeng Motors in the third quarter. Now, out of those three, I think one of those was a good decision, liquidating your stock, your holdings of Xpeng. I don't think anyone has a choice right now when you look at what's happening with that company. So yeah, they had to do that. I'm sure they lost a lot of money doing that, but still was probably going to be a good decision. Their decisions on Neo and Li Auto, well, I don't think they're listening much. I don't think they're paying much attention. They need to watch this channel to find out what's really going on. California Public Employees Retirement System owned 3 million US traded ADRs of NEO at the end of the third quarter. That's an increase of 448,926 shares or 18.2% from the just under 2.5 million shares it held at the end of the second quarter. The CNF Post says that Capers currently has about $430 billion in assets management and is the largest public pension in the US. So I can't really go and look at everything, every decision they've made because these guys do trade a lot. The pensions holdings in NEO were worth 46 million US dollars at the end of the third quarter, but they just increased after they bought more NEO stock. The pension also owns nearly 1.2 million shares of Li Auto. That's an increase of 201,000 or 21% from the 960 shares they held at the end of the second quarter. Basically, this pension fund's just gone and loaded up on NEO and Li Auto stock in China. If you think that's a good decision, then please let me know in the comment section below. Tell me why you think that's a good decision. I've told you all why I think it's a bad decision in my video recently about about NEO and the crazy CEO who's just, I think, lost his mind, lost his marbles. Or I don't know what he's been doing. Maybe he's been, maybe he's been just getting high for too long. I don't know. I mean, people are saying Elon Musk is going crazy. But if you look at the decisions of Tesla, Tesla's made good decisions and they continue to make good decisions. Neo recently, what they're saying they're going to do is just it's preposterous. It's so preposterous. They're saying they're going to reduce R&D spending, but they're saying what they're going to do would have to increase their spending at least five times, at least five times where they're at now. So basically what they're saying completely misaligns completely misaligns with what they're actually, with the amounts of money they say they're going to invest. It's just totally bogus. It's like saying, okay, a bottle of milk costs $2. I'm going to go and buy 10 bottles of milk for only $2. Uh, hang on a second. You said a bottle of milk costs $2. How do you plan on buying 10 bottles of milk for $2? Oh, I'm just going to do it. Don't, don't pay attention to that. That's too logical. Uh, okay. Then the US pension fund goes, oh, it's brilliant, brilliant strategy here from Neo. Let's go buy some more Neo stock. Yeah, you're great. What about Li Auto? Guys, yeah, let's load up on Li Auto. Are they making these? Nah, that was, doesn't matter. The they have an electric motor in the car. Yeah, yeah, they do. They've got an electric motor in the car. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, you buy some more Leoto stock. You know what? Maybe you should consider looking at the actual share. Who sells hybrids in China? Like how many, what percentage of car sales in China are hybrids? The only company successfully selling hybrids in China is BYD. No one else does. No one else. Pretty, about 90% of all the hybrids sold in China are made by BYD. So maybe that could be a good play considering 50% of their sales are actually EVs. But seeing as Li Auto sells nothing but hybrids, maybe that's not such a good strategy. CNF Post reported out though on the one good decision in my view, 
that the well, the world's largest pension fund made over the last few months. They sold out their entire position in Xpeng. At the end of the third quarter, the fund no longer owned any shares at all of Xpeng. As a comparison, it held 975,000 shares of Xpeng at the end of the second quarter when it was worth 31 million. However, the fund actually owned 582,931 shares in Xpeng in 2021. It's liquidated what is a massive position and that liquidation has obviously led to, well, it would have definitely contributed to the fall in the stock price of Xpeng. So of some of the bizarre decisions by Xpeng in terms of investing enormous amounts of money in flying airplanes and, you know, electric airplanes are great, but Xpeng is going on the old, whole electric airplane car thing. And I can't really see that taking off, which is why I haven't really focused on on the channel. I know you guys have sent me lots of videos about Xpeng's flying car telling me you should make a video on that, you should make a video on that. And I'm sorry, I've ignored you because I simply don't think it's going to work. And I don't think it was a wise decision for Xpeng to invest so much money into that product. In the third quarter of this year, Neo's stock price was down 27%, Xpeng's was down 64%, and Leoto was down 40%. Now, the interesting thing is here, CNF Post also reported that Bridgewater, the world's largest hedge fund, just piled into Neo and it didn't sell any of its Xpeng or Leoto stock at all. One of the largest investment firms, Bailey Gifford & Co, actually increased its holdings in Tesla and Neo, but it sold a lot of its position in Leoto. My advice here is well, I can't give you advice if you're in Australia, so just lock your ears while I say this. Don't buy any Neo stock. That's not a wise move. Now, this could be wrong. I could be wrong here. But based on my research on what I'm seeing from their CEO, their decisions they've made recently, I sold everything, all of my position, all of it, at a loss. But sometimes you have to take a loss to make the right decision. My decision also was to sell all of my Xpeng shares and liquidate all of them. In fact, I liquidated a lot of them a few months ago, and I just sold all of them in the last week. In terms of Leoto, I've never invested in Leoto, never would. I can't recommend that to anyone. I think that's a ridiculous idea. Why you invest in Leoto? I think, I mean, why would you invest in a company that has no plans to make EVs, doesn't make an EV, and is in a market which is decreasing in size? Now, yeah, sure, that market might have some sort of miraculous turnaround in the next couple of years and increase in size. For how long? For how long is that going to happen if you're not selling the product that consumers actually want? In China, you can buy EVs now, which will give you, well, about a thousand kilometers in range. All the new battery technology coming out of the next six months is gonna mean Li Auto's vehicles will be basically obsolete. However, guys, what I wanna know is, what's your take on this? What's your opinion? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.